hi tech family welcome to the another video from eTech viral and in this video i'm gonna show you how you can run your flutter application on windows and the first thing i want to tell you is that you must switch your channel to the flutter beta so just type in the terminal flutter channel beta i am already on my flutter beta channel so it will say the channel is already beta just because we cannot run our flutter application on windows on the stable channel so for that we have to switch to the channel beta and the next thing first let's focus on that area we have our android ios web but not the windows and after some time you will see the windows also and i will show you how you can run your flutter application on the windows and i will also show you the basic fluent ui how you can use that package and in the upcoming videos we will go in more depth of this fluent ui so the next thing you have to do it in the terminal you simply have to type flutter doctor in my case no issues found in here but if you are new and want to run your flutter application on windows so it will definitely says the visual studio code the c++ tools are not installed so for that you have to go to your browser and in this on this link i will share this link in my video description you simply have to download this visual studio 2022 and after the download has done so you have to open it just like this press continue it will take some while and after this then you will see this screen on your window so you simply have to download these desktops development with c so you simply have to check this and install it but i already have installed them just because in my android studio in the terminal it says everything is fine so after that done you have to run another command in your terminal you can see i'm in my project and you simply have to run a command that is flutter create and simply dot press enter and after some while you will see the window folder in your project and it's successful and here you will see the windows folder appear here so to run your application on this window you simply have to select this device you will see the windows desktop and run it and this time it will not showing like the gradle task assemble debug but the you will see the building windows application and after that you will see your application of flutter is successfully run on windows and it's so smooth you can see just like this you can run your flutter application on windows but there is the material ui if you remember i have told you in the starting we will use the fluent ui we will cover the basics of the fluent ui instead of using this material ui so you simply have to move to your browser and copy that fluent ui package and in the pubspec.yaml paste it right after this dependencies and after that press the pubget and we have successfully added our fluent ui package in our pubspec.yaml file and the next we have to do is to again move to our main dot dot and remove this flutter material package but and this time it will be fluent ui dot dart and instead of material app this will be fluent app and fluent app has no primary switch so i will simply remove this and instead of scaffold we will put the container and remove this app bar also instead of body this will be child and simply change the color of this container this will not anymore the background color but the color colors dot blue and just like this the fluent ui has no themes just like this remove it also and it has no floating action buttons remove it and right after this text i'll put the size box height of 20 and after that i will make a button it takes two parameters child and on press in the child this will be text click me this will be our increment button on the increment button i will simply call that function increment counter and just also make these constants and now we are using the fluent 
UI instead of material UI. Now how to start the application and you can see we got the fluent UI. When I press this click me, it's incrementing just like the previous. And there is a lot more documentation of this fluent UI. You can see it here. It has text, buttons and styles also. And we will go in more depth in the our upcoming videos. So if you found this video helpful, hit a thumb on a like button and leave a comment if something is not clear to you. For now, goodbye and I will see you in the next video.